We know turnovers change football games. That's not news to anybody, Nathan, Stephen, Doug. But as we look at Ohio State and Nebraska on Saturday night, Stephen, do you have any belief that this Ohio State defense is reaching the point where sometimes turnovers are just luck? Is it more than luck? Is this Ohio State defense doing something to create turnovers? I think they're creating these turnovers. They're plus three in turnover margin. Nebraska comes in minus one in turnover margin. A lot of these aren't like – they're just in the right position, and a quarterback is just making a bad throw. Now, they have had a couple of those, but Josh Proctor made a play on the ball. Jeffrey Okuda made a play on the ball. Both of Chase Young's trip sacks, those are him making a play and, and knowledgeably knowing that, like, instead of just going for the sack, we want to turn over here. So it looks like Ohio State in all facets, whether it's the defensive line, the linebackers, or the cornerbacks, they're trying to force turnovers to get more possessions for its offense. I do think part of what they've done defensively when they drop into this zone, guys can make plays on the ball more. You saw the Okuda pick. And I will note this, Taraja Mitchell, I tweeted during the game, got in that passing lane and disrupted that slant. And Taraja Mitchell, when all the guys go through Twitter post game and look for their name, he uh, he liked that tweet and started following me on Twitter. Because I gave him a shout out. Okuda just caught the ball and hit him in the stomach. Taraja Mitchell made it happen. It was, a, it was kind of a diving grab, kind of. Diving after Taraja Mitchell got, did all the no, stuff. Yes, no, that's fair. So, so, Nathan, specifically, is this – defensive line doing something for Ohio State that they truly believe that they are targeting turnovers in a way that maybe most teams don't talk about. Yeah, J. Sean Cornell just said that to us inside that, uh, you know, it was kind of a funny statement, but like, you know, we're fine with sacks. What do you say? We don't like sacks. Anyone can get sacks. We want strip sacks. We want to force fumbles with our sacks. And I thought that was a, a really telling statement of just kind of the aggressive mindset that this defense has. Um, and I think that it's a good thing. I mean, I, you know, set those goals high and, and don't just be satisfied with kind of, you know, the common play. Go out and make the great play if you can. What's going to be more difficult this week is you're playing the most elusive quarterback you've played so far. So just even getting hands on Adrian Martinez is difficult. Taking him down is more difficult and potentially dislodging a ball even more difficult than that. But I will say Nebraska has a negative turnover differential for the season. You're going into an opposing stadium. There's going to be a lot of people there. It's going to be loud. You need a way to kind of take the crowd out of it, reverse momentum, get it back on your side. Uh, if Ohio State can force turnovers, it could be a huge factor on Saturday. Uh, I think the Nebraska offensive line might be one of the iffy parts of their team. So, like, the idea, I think they can get pressure. It's going to be one of the keys to this game is when they get pr – they're going to get pressure on Adrian Martinez. Is it going to turn into a positive play for Ohio State's defense or a positive play for Nebraska's offense because he escapes the pressure and gets out? That's going to be a, a determining factor. But also, Nebraska's dropping the ball. They had four turnovers against Illinois when they played Colorado a couple weeks ago. Adrian Martinez had a third down play where he was pressured he had a guy open he hesitated for a split second and he dropped the ball and got it knocked out of his hands and instead of a 20-yard completion it's a fumble um, if Nebraska does turn it over they can't win and they have been turning it over so whether it's luck whether they're bad at holding on I know that they're doing the thing this week where guys are carrying footballs around right they're doing that old yeah, like cliche thing yeah like right out of the program so this is going to be this is an extra emphasis on this because we think maybe Ohio State's good at it and clearly so far Nebraska's bad at holding on to it. If those two trends continue, I don't think this is going to be a game. If Nebraska can hold on to it, then it can be a game. Steven, Nathan Doug, see us Saturday in Lincoln for cleveland.com.